Cousin Didi. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the channel and stopping by the channel today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Today, guys, we are getting into electric motorcycles. And I don't know about you guys, but for I just have not had any interest whatsoever in electric motorcycles. And it's not because maybe electric motorcycles have innovated into something that's like enjoyable. It's that the only thing they keep slamming down our throats about these stupid electric motorcycles is this Harley Davidson live wire that nobody cares about, right? This is what they keep throwing down the throat. And the reason the electric motorcycle market's getting such a bad ride is because listen to the description and how much this live wire is that they're rolling out, right? The price of that live wire is $39,729. $39,729. Man, that is crazy for an electric motorcycle. But listen to this. It only has 78 horsepower, and it only goes 95 miles an hour. And on top of that, on one charge, the furthest you can go is 146 miles. You can't even do a good day run. If you leave at 9 in the morning, and you ride all day long, and you get back about 5 or 6, you've done more than that. You can't even do a full day ride with this bike. And that's why I think, for me anyway, and most people probably have a bad taste in their mouth about electric bikes is because they throw this little cruiser, this half broke down cruiser in front of you. They charge you through, you know, through the roof and, and, and it has no, has no like options for it. So what I did is I found, a, I found an article by LUXE Digital. And what they did is they broke down, and I didn't even know this, but they broke down the 13 best electric motorcycles of 2022. They got the overall best, best value, best premium, fastest motorbike, most stylish, best commuting, best off-road, best varied terrain, best range, best for tech lovers, right? And I was like, wait, hold on a second. There's more electric bikes out there? Why is nobody talking about these things, right? But I'm going to go ahead and run down these electric bikes to you and kind of describe them. Um, if you want to, you can actually go to the page and kind of check it out with me. But this is the thing, right? So the, I'm just surprised that there's more bikes because you don't hear about anything, right? So the number one they got, right, is the overall best electric bike in the world. Is e, it's called the Energica Ego RS, right? Now this thing, it's $26,000. It's 171 horsepower, guys. It's got 150 miles per hour. In the range, you can go 261 miles on a charge. And it looks like a sports bike. It looks just like a GSX-R1000, right? The number two in the class they have is called the Zero SRS. It's a best value electric motorcycle. So this thing comes in at price at $19,995. It's 110 horsepower. It goes 124 miles an hour. And on this one, you can go 227 miles on one charge. And this, too, looks like a super sports sport bike, right? The next one they have is, let's see here, is the Lightning LS218. It's the fastest electric motorbike in the world. So this thing comes in at 38,888, just under the live wire, but it's the fastest bike in the world. It's got 16 horsepower. 218 miles per hour top speed and it's got a range of 160 miles right the next one they have is the arc vector which is the most stylish electric motorbike this thing like looks like a super sport that's in the future right um, its price is 118,000 127 horsepower it goes 125 miles an hour but this thing goes 362 miles on a charge the next one they have is the Damon Hypersport. It's the best electric motorbike for commuting. That too looks like a super sport motorcycle. It starts at 17,000. The engine power is 160 kW. It goes 200 miles per hour, and you get 200 miles of charging on this. I mean, up to this point, all these bikes are give you way more than that live wire, farther, faster, and a lot of them are less cheaper, but you only hear about this Harley-Davidson Livewire. Just makes no sense to me. 
So the next one they have is the Persang E Tracker. It's the best off-road electric bike. It looks like a cruiser, like an Edenfield with like knob wheels on it, right? This thing, starting price at 15,000, the engine power is 11 kW, it goes 68 miles per hour, and its range is 75 miles. So this little thing right here is just kind of meant to kind of go along the back roads, maybe some dirt for a little while, not much, right? These guys even have an electric scooter. The Go Goro Smart Scooter 2 is the best for varied terrain. Like this thing can go over anything, right? It's $2,455. It's got eight horsepower. It goes 57 miles per hour and you go 68 miles on a charge. But it's literally uh, just a scooter, you know? And the best, uh, the Damon Hypersport Pro, the next in line is the best electric motorbike for range. This too looks like a super sport motorcycle. 24,995 is the price. It's got 214 horsepower. It tops out at 200 miles an hour. And this thing can go 300 miles, right? And number 10 they got in their slot is the Tarform. It's the best electric motorbike for tech lovers. This thing looks like a, kind of a sawed off bobber with nothing on it. Literally look, has nothing at all. Uh, it's starting at $24,000. 55 horsepower goes 120 miles an hour and you can go 120 miles an hour 120 miles on one charge so guys you know there is a, a large variety of electric motorbikes out there i'm all gasoline bike i think a motorcycle has to have the sound of a motorcycle right if these bikes they're electric bikes they have no sound they kind of just drum through if you if they could come up with an electric motorbike right that sounded like an in, inline four 1000 or something that's just grumbly or like an indian or something like that that you could ride i'm telling you man the market price would go up but guys just wanted to kind of give you a breakdown of the electric bikes i'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy the rest of the ride and you guys have a great day